Hello everyone, this is XM Physics. Calculating the resulting electric force is a standard A-level problem. So here's an example. We have three charges, A, B and C, sitting at the three corners of an equilateral triangle. And the length of the equilateral triangle is 2 mm. Suppose we are interested in the resultant force. Um, experienced by charge B. Now these two charges are like charges so there's a mutual repulsion force between them. So charge C is going to repel charge B uh, with a force in this direction. Let's call this force FC. The magnitude of this force can be calculated using the Coulomb's law KQQ over D squared. Just put in the values of 2 and 3 nanocoulombs for the charges divided by the square of the distance between them. So the repulsion force turns out to be 13.5 millinewtons. Let's continue. So um, charge A and charge B are unlike charges. So there's a mutual attractive force between them. As a result, charge A is going to attract charge B in this direction. Let's call this force Fa. Similarly, the magnitude of Fa can be calculated using Coulomb's law. Uh, just substitute the magnitude of the charges, 1 and 3 nanocoulombs, into the formula. Now notice that I didn't bother to uh, put in the negative signs when I substitute the magnitude of the charges. So in H2 physics, uh, usually we use the Coulomb's law just to calculate the magnitude of the electric force. As for the direction, we'll figure it out um, from the context of the question. So charge B is being pushed this way by charge C. At the same time, it's being put leftward by charge A. So what's the resultant force experienced by charge B? we have to do a vector summation because electric forces are vectors. So we have to do Fc plus Fa giving us the resultant force Fr. Because I've chosen very nice numbers for this problem, so the resultant force uh, turns out to be a vertically downward force because Fc turns out to be exactly twice Fa and because these are all equilateral triangles it's quite clear that the horizontal component of Fc which is about this long is exactly cancelled out by Fa so um, we are left with just this component which is the resultant force and because this angle here is clearly 30 degrees um, Looking at this right angled triangle here, uh, FR is clearly just FC cosine 30 degrees. Yeah, I know the vector summation can be a pain in the air sometimes. Sometimes you have to resort to Pythagoras and trigo ratio or even cosine rule and sine rules to solve the triangles. But I think the main takeaway from this problem is that um, electric forces are vectors. So very often we have to do a vector summation when we are trying to calculate the resultant force. Alright, that's all. Ta-ta!